I mean, it was awesome. Like my mom said, I went in and like I was mentioning, I think yesterday in the lesson, I said sometimes you have to show up face to face, you know, to connect with people because that's much easier than just sending an email. Mm -hmm. You know, some people like to connect and obviously they're one of those type of people. So I went into the store and we set it up and they came to the party and it was phenomenal, it right? It was so much fun. Yeah, it they came. It was fantastic. And the host, you know, all their staff came. We were giving out, they were giving out juices. People were excited. People were shopping. And people were even introduced to their brand. They began to get mm -hmm. cleanses. So it was a win-win for the both of us, right? And in that Networking. moment, there were so many, like, bloggers and yeah, bloggers. It was a fashion event. And it was the hit of the night. Yep. So what happened was that night, everybody kept walking up to us and saying, oh, my God, who are these Weedberry people? Oh, my God, yep. I love this Weedberry stuff. Oh, my God, I want to cleanse. I've been thinking about this. I've been reading this online. Oh, this is big in social media. The biggest bloggers are um, cleansing, which they really yep, are. they are. And so yes. they're like, it happened to be like cleanse week, which we exactly. didn't know anything which was perfect. perfect. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we didn't, we everybody had, had everybody their was cleansing. Juice. Everybody had, it, it was, was awesome. We, it was like trending topic on Instagram, kale juice. And so it made her party you know, just spike up the big party mm -hmm. with the wheat berry there. And so in that very moment, as, you know, we were looking on Instagram and thing, and I said, you know what, hey, we should have them be a part of the Women's Success Conference because they would be the perfect people to interview because our entrepreneurs need energy. Yep. We're like, if there's one thing missing, we've talked about so much, so much. And you know, we talked about so much, and then when we were at the party and you and I started talking and she, you started telling me your story about, you know, having cancer and how you've been um, healed from it and been, you know, cancer-free for so many years, I said, this is perfect because not only did you get healed from cancer, but you continue on running your businesses, yep. you pick your life back up, and you continue on. And yep. so I think that that's something women as entrepreneurs ought to hear because I know some of you even, I know a couple of people in the audience right now is in that mode. Some of you are fighting the very same cancer I, I heard from you this week. You're in that right mm -hmm. now situation that just like she had, you have cancer right now and you're still here. You showed up. But isn't it awesome that this is years later and she's on stage now talking about her mm -hmm. business? After you got through that and you had, you know, you, you, you had cancer, you overcome it and you're building your business, what made you, after you had to fight for your life, what made you go back and say, now I want to have businesses again, I want to enjoy life, what, made, what was the turn or what steps did you have to take to do that? I love to work. I have a family-owned business that, my, my entire family are entrepreneurs. My dad started a company out of his garage. So I, that part as far as starting companies, work ethic, was not an, an issue. That's something that I think is innate, in, yeah. instilled in mm -hmm. me. But starting a company like Wheatberry, that is, like again, who, who drinks kale juice? Nobody knows about that. <laughs> and, and in Florida, like I said, we're way behind as far as, you know, like in, if you go to New York or California, there's juice bars like a Starbucks on every corner. So being at the crossroads of my career with my family business, I was trying to break away from working with my sisters and just kind of do my own thing, and my husband as well. It was a good time to, to start something brand new. It was a huge risk because we have three sons, and, and now, right now, currently, all three of them are in college. Mm -hmm. So financially, again, taking that risk and knowing, do your vision board, do yes. your dreams. Wow. That's awesome. I actually started... Um, <laughs> I, thank you. I took money, I took a loan on my 401k, and I am very conservative, so my husband knew I was serious because I was like, don't you lose this money. Yeah. And so we started on a shoestring budget, yeah. but we had, and we, you know, we, we hired somebody to help us with branding. Right. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I mean, we just had, a, we did a lot of research, a lot of work, yes. and it was good timing in our life. Yeah. Financially, it probably wasn't a good choice because we had, again, had three boys in college. We right. have a mortgage. We have a home. I have 
but it was the leap of faith yeah. and knowing that it was going to happen. Yeah. We were going to make it work. And we, yeah. as far as work goes, Rick and I are willing to put in 24-7. And we have the boys when they're in between semesters yeah. that come into the cafe as well. So it was taking it. the risk. A, a lot of entrepreneurs, you know, they, you say they take risks or they should take risks. And they believe that, you know, they're going to start this business and they're going to get 100 orders right out, you know. <laughs> yeah. Good luck next I'm week. I want to meet them. And I'm getting 100 <laughs> orders now. Nobody knows me, but that's it. And what was it like for you? Did you guys start off, you know, pushing the product out? You know, was the line, did you have a whole bunch of juices? Or did you start off with what you could at the time and it mm -hmm. grew? And what was it like to get your first order? Mm, that was you fun. Know? <laughs> I remember we, that moment for me, screaming. I'll tell around. you, yes, yeah. I'll tell you about it. We, for, at first, we had a juicer in the cafe. So Rick was making the juice, custom juices there. But it was you'd have to wait like 10 minutes for your juice. It's time consuming because we grind the veggies and then squeeze wow. the wow. vegetable. It takes a lot of time. He was tired, yes. Once we started bottling the juices, and we make these daily, so these are fresh, so they only have, they have a shelf life, so these don't have any type of pasteurization in them. So bottling them made it a little easier, so we didn't have these initially in the cafe. Rick was making them all home, you know, like right there on spot. We opened up our, t Wheat Berry's open 24 seven now because of our website. Yeah. Get a yeah. website. Websites are free, they're cheap. So right. you have something, your store is going to be open 24 seven if you have a good yes. website, and make right. it small and good. Don't make it big and halfway. Right. So, so we good. sell our juices online. So I was sitting in the living room, and we got our first order. Wow. And I literally almost dropped the laptop. Uh -huh. I went, <laughs> exactly. Rick, honey, guess. And he said, we got our order. He said, what are you talking about? I said, we got our first online order. And wow. I'm telling you, I still jump around when I get my online yeah, orders. Yeah, I do, too. Exactly. I, do too. I do, too. I do, too. I love that. <laughs> that feeling never goes away. Never goes and away. It's in one day, I mean, we have the cafe. We plan to have more, ca you know, more yeah. Um, yeah. cafe. Cafes, or, you know, right. We want to do little stores, satellite, location. little locations. But our website, so we have that store open forever, 24-7. Whether ca the cafe is there or not, we have our store that everybody in the world can see. They don't have to come to Altamont Springs to see us. Wow. I love it. So that's awesome. So that, that, that puts in perspective how important online mm -hmm. and internet and internet using, presence. using the internet and the presence, yeah. yeah. So getting that first order was, like it you was said, exciting, it was very right? exciting awesome. and still is. Yeah, every time. I that's love awesome. it. So as we wrap up today, um, what, is there anything you would want to share with the audience? I, I, want, I just want to ask this question. Do you have a book that you're going to write? Are you going to write a book about your story or and connect it to Wheatberry or... Anything is that something you're thinking about, or people have presented that to me? If yeah, I mean, I mean it's something that would be. I mean, I would sit here with you all day and keep asking more questions. Tell me more, and then what happened? And what were the steps that you take? And how did you feel when you started getting healed? And then, you know, right. I mean, there's so much more that can be shared there. So mm -hmm. it's like a it's like a natural process. The Wheatberry story, the mm -hmm. Wheatberry book, the cancer free book. The now I got you doing a product line. Right, a right. product line. <laughs> you about to launch this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Would you buy the book? Yes. <laughs> and I'm if she had a book, I mean, even if it was an e-book and download, would you want to hear more of this? Yes. Yeah, isn't it like, oh my God. Oh, that's, yeah. that's nice. I'm telling you, I would want to hear that. I want to hear the story. I want to hear from, from, from the, you know, cancer to the store. I want to mm -hmm. hear the transition, yeah. all the details. and It's exciting. It is. Especially the details are, are juicy. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. juicy. juicy. <laughs> Love we want to hear all that. Mm -hmm. All right, so now that you have a book coming, where are you going to come? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this thing wrapped up. Let's Got go. Get out the pen and paper. See? Absolutely. But when people come into the store, I know you're interactive with your customers. Do you share your story in the store? or? I do, and do. I, I like to talk. So Rick, my husband, goes, honey, let them eat. <laughs> let them eat. And the boys always, and one of our sons, is his name is Steel, and he's the youngest, and he's like, He's kind of, he's a little quieter than the other. He's like, stop talking. So I do share my story and I love to share my cancer story. There's so many people that come into the cafe that are post um, chemo or radiation. Yeah. Wow. So I do share my story. Awesome. Well, I think some people want to hear it. So would you like to share with the audience anything? How can they get in Wheatberry if they live in Arkansas? Right. Can they order from you? Um, mm -hmm. Where's the website? How do they find it? How can they stay in touch with you after today? It's wheatberrycafe.com. 
very easy. We have an app. I didn't do the website so I can brag, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It, it is. is. It looks like the it stage. Is. It's, it's colorful. It it's is. beautiful. I, I love all the colors of the juices. So weberrycafe.com. Can you share with them what the benefit of a cleanse is if they do a three-day, five-day? Can you just share real quick? I can. I can a little. Um, cleansing is unbelievable for your body. If you take advantage of a cleanse, it's always good to pre-cleanse. So the day before you cleanse, don't go have um, filet mignon or, or menagot. Eat, eat water, drink water, sorry, and eat lightly before the cleanse. Then when you start your cleanse, you're, you're gonna get the fullest benefit. It's not just what you're putting in your body or, what you're, or detoxing what's coming out of your body, but it's what you're not putting in your body is also mm -hmm. what's so healthy. Drink a lot of water. Yes. You're going to feel lethargic possibly the second day. Continue mm -hmm. exercise, just don't run a marathon that day. Mm -hmm. You have six juices, and we try to do them for like eight, 10, 12, you know, every two hours. For dessert, you get an almond milk, which has some cardamom and cinnamon, so it's like mm -hmm. a, it's, it's, it's homemade organic almond milk that it's we really make in good. the cafe. I like it too, it yeah. is good, it's yeah. like dessert. Mm -hmm. So a three-day cleanse, like I said, there's six juices a day. Some people get a headache. If you're a caffeine drinker, try to wean yourself off a couple days before so you because mm -hmm. that caffeine headache I yeah. I'm a coffee snob yeah so I'm telling you that caffeine headache is really it hurts and you don't know if it's some people don't know if it's from the cleanse it's not it's usually it's weaning usually the off caffeine, the caffeine right. mm -hmm. so the cleanse is you will you can work, so people don't have to stay home. It's not like you're having a colonoscopy. <laughs> you can work. <laughs> and, I mean, you may run into the bathroom a lot, but you're detoxing, and, and it's, it's not like, I mean, everybody works, and they continue to exercise. Yeah. So the third day is really where you reap the benefits, and that's yes. where you're going to feel the energy. Yeah. So sometimes people will do three, and they extend it two days to yeah. five. I always say start with one just to see if you can do it. You're not going to be hungry. And if you're hungry, I mean, drink some more water. When we were figuring out cleanses and doing the prototype, we had the boys do juice cleanses, um, and they're college kids. So yeah. one of them had a bad headache, and I said, you're detoxing. The other one yeah. couldn't get enough. He was starving. So we just gave him more juice, but we wouldn't let them eat. And they survived, and they did great. Now they cleanse all the time. Yeah. They have juicers in their dorm rooms. Yeah. Yeah. So the boys, the boys are healthy. Um, and, and they, they've it learned. It makes a major difference in how you feel. It does. Mm -hmm. It does. I tell you, once good. you do it and you get through it, you are, it's like, to me, it's an addiction. I mean, mm -hmm. I was like, I felt like I have to do this. I want, you want that cleanse, that feeling again. And then you're, then, you know, you want to tell everybody, you want everybody to feel like that. Right. That's how we got like exactly. Steve and everybody We're like, you've got to feel like this because you feel like crap all the time. You've got to feel like and this. And you survived the three days. Mine is Stevia. Yeah. She did really good. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I survived. And yeah. I went on and did more. You yeah, know, after you that, did. I did a yeah. seven day. After and that, that was, day, yeah. then I did a 10 day. I want you to try it. This is good. Yes. This is. I think we can add that to your homework list, number 27. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get some wheat berry and cleanse, but you can have it shipped to you and sent to you. And like she said, you can start with maybe a three-day and see how that works out for you. And, um, and know that your connection, you're connecting with a company that um, is, not only are they just a great company, but they also are a spiritual-based company, and they're really uh, what we call conscious entrepreneurs. Yes. They're not just in business, but they're in business with a conscious and really want to help their customer and their clients succeed. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so I think those are the best people to buy from. Yeah. Yeah. So let's give it up for Wheat Berry. Yeah.